No matter what area of life, evolution is inevitable. According to the World Bank, over 40% of the adult population and more than 2 billion people worldwide are outside of the banking system today, limiting many to a state of poverty and discouragement. This is a major problem in the world today. However, challenging times are also the most powerful times as they make us creative, searching for newer and better solutions. The current banking system was developed over 60 years ago, but newborn ideas and innovative technology has opened the door to a financial evolution that holds the power to transform our entire world. The money we use today is called fiat currency. The term came out of the idea that a claim check or a dollar was backed up by gold. I have directed Secretary Connolly to suspend temporarily the convertibility of the dollar into gold or other reserve asset. This changed in the 70s when the US government canceled the direct convertibility of the US dollar to gold. No fiat currency has ever retained its value over time and the principle is easy. Every time the central bank prints more currency, the currency we have in our pockets loses its value and is called inflation. After years of inflation, overloaned markets and irresponsible unregulated financial management, the consequences were huge and finally led to the financial crisis of 2008. A crisis that was also the beginning of a great financial evolution. Cryptocurrency was born. The idea of cryptocurrency was to create a new currency that was free from inflation and based on the same principles as gold, where supply and demand is creating the value. An idea based on the perks of technological advancement that could provide us much faster, cheaper and more secure transactions. Since then, a lot has happened and around a decade later, cryptocurrency has started to impact our entire world. You think this is a currency, a currency that's really going to work eventually? Well, I think it is working, um, and uh, there will be other currencies like it that may, may be even better. It's legally seen as a commodity in the United States, while in the European Union, it's classified as an asset. Today, all major banks have realized the impact this type of currency will have on our monetary system, and banks around the world are now looking for innovative ways to implement cryptocurrency and the underlying technology, the blockchain in the existing banking system. Cryptocurrency is still a new concept to a lot of people, but the innovation is becoming an accepted new form of money, just in a digital form. However, it is the underlying technology, the blockchain, that holds the power to transform not only our monetary system, but the whole way we operate in society today. Not many people believed in the internet 30 years ago. Today, Around 40% of the world's population is connected to the World Wide Web. In 1995, it was less than 1%. What made the Internet so successful was that it was open for anyone and we could start sending information instantaneously worldwide. The blockchain, on the other hand, is the Internet of value and it gives us the ability to transmit not information but value in the blink of an eye worldwide. The Internet is a communications protocol, while the blockchain is a protocol for value exchange. The blockchain technology, the foundation of cryptocurrency, is, right now, being implemented in most areas of society. The stock market, in sales records, in contract processing, and of course, within the financial sector of payments and transactions, to name a few examples. The new era of finances that you are about to discover is the second generation of Internet and the blockchain. Cryptocurrency, the future of payments, is about to revolutionize the economy as we know it today. Bitcoin had an incredible increase of value from 2009 till the end of 2013. The price of a single Bitcoin went from 0.1 US dollars to over 1100 US dollars and many people worldwide made a fortune. At the same time, many missed out on the opportunity 
because they lacked information, but also the skepticism cryptocurrency initially was looked upon with. The pioneers soon showed that there was plenty of room for improvement in the future, and with the development of new cryptocurrencies, it has opened the door for a much safer and more friendly cryptocurrency. Truly holds the key to help people in emerging countries to take a leap with technology and get instant access to cryptocurrency and banking through cryptocurrency and take advantage of the opportunities in the developed countries. While most cryptocurrencies are based on speculation through public trading, since the value of cryptocurrency is based on supply and demand, the larger the area of utility, the higher the value of the coin. Cryptocurrency and this new financial market really holds the potential to create banking for the 2 billion people who do not have access to the banking system today, according to the World Bank. It's one of the most emerging markets today that can plug in the unbanked into the financial system simply by using a phone. It can eliminate the middleman that charge high fees for remittances and cross-border payments where the average fee is 7.7% .7 but can reach up to 29%, taking several days as well, and help people secure assets and grow capital in an extremely fast-growing market. Networking and social media today holds a tremendous power to influence that can change pretty much any market. Do you remember Netscape and Yahoo? The search engines that were soon forgotten as the giant Google took over the complete market and introduced a user-friendly and much more sophisticated software. Do you remember MySpace, the social network platform that was soon forgotten as Facebook took over the entire market? Neither of these giants used advertisement as a way of reaching out to people. The growth of these companies was based on trust, results and the most powerful of all elements, satisfied users and the word of mouth. Now you have a powerful and transparent opportunity in front of you and you can join the millions of miners, traders and merchants to mine coins and diversify your portfolio, positioning yourself for the future to come. With this information, you can be in the forefront of this new era, an emerging market that is about to change the global economy. Decision making is based on information and you can now make use of the information given to you. So make sure to get your questions answered by the person who showed you this video to get started. And keep in mind that the question is not if cryptocurrency will impact your future economy. It's rather, are you ready for the new economical era emerging upon us? If you are, make sure to join this financial revolution and be part of the fastest growing cryptocurrency in the world. Look closely. What do we all have in common? No matter what corner of the world you live in, you need food, water, shelter, and money. Half of every transaction involves money in exchange for goods or services, stocks, a loaf of bread, illegal drugs. You gotta pay for it. We spend much of our lives chasing money to make a living and accomplish our dreams. But it's also an instrument of destruction. Some might say evil, driving criminals to lie, steal, and even murder. The existing banking system extracts enormous value from society, and it is parasitic in nature. Money is a catalyst for the worst and the best of human endeavor. Before civilization, we created currency, fuel for wars, the path to power, champion and enemy of innovation. Money is so integral to our society and our global economy that its true nature remains a mystery to most. This is the story of money, perhaps the end of money as we know it. No matter how fat your bank account or how thin your wallet, to us it's all cold hard cash. There are some who want to kill it, get rid of it, Burn your dollars, your euros, your yen, 
and transform every penny you have into ones and zeros. Digital currency, entrusted to the web and computers spread across the planet. Magic internet money. It's called cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. Invented in secret, it was a gift to the world. It's not just a currency, but it's actually programmable money. A potential curse on bankers. And there's nothing that the, the big banks or politicians can do to stop it. Breaking every government's grip on money supply. What the internet did for information, Bitcoin is doing for money. Could it be the new gold? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you have to really stretch your uh, imagination to infer what the intrinsic value of Bitcoin is. Regulators, the Federal Reserve, the banking system, at least understand this is a thing that they have to take seriously. This is going to change the economic culture. Bitcoin could be a microeconomic miracle worker and it could be a macroeconomic wrecking ball. Is Bitcoin the currency of the future? A godsend for criminals? or a recipe for financial disaster. If you trust your money just as it is, we have a little story to share. Cryptocurrencies are very attractive right now due to the fact that there's a limited supply of each cryptocurrency, a veritable island fortress in a sea of ever-expanding and devaluing fiat. While cryptocurrencies don't meet the historical definition of money, it represents an alternative store of wealth in an age when people are desperate to retain the fruits of their labor. It also represents a revolution in how we think about money. The Federal Reserve has been creating fiat money out of thin air on a daily basis for a hundred years by changing digits on a screen. Cryptocurrency is a result of machines working for us. Bitcoin and Litecoin are a global currency created of the people, by the people, and for the people. It's time we remove the shackles of fiat debt and step into the next century of currency and human interaction. I don't pretend to be an expert in economics or investing, but what I'm pointing out here is a big event in our thought paradigm. People want open, honest, and transparent money. I think this is how we get there. You know Thomas Edison as one of history's most prolific inventors. That's the story we've all been told, but there's another story. For 90 years, Edison's most controversial invention remained cloaked in silence. You won't find it in any history book, and it was almost wiped from all records. In 1921, Thomas Edison developed a plan to reinvent the one force that drives everything, money. I'm Mike Ward, and this is a story you've never been told. In 1921, Thomas Edison tried to reinvent the dollar. Now, while the US government and the Federal Reserve initially silenced Edison's radical plan, it could only stay hidden for so long. Over the years, an underground movement championed this monetary breakthrough, and recently, its existence was brought to light. It sparked a rebellion that quickly spread to Main Street America, to every corner of the globe, Right now, this radical new form of money is being used by millions of people in over 100 countries. It's trading on exchanges around the world, from Toronto to Singapore to the United States. It was once valued at less than a penny on these exchanges. But in 2013, a single unit of Edison's breakthrough money was valued at more than 482 Australian dollars, 330 euros, 280 British pounds, and 447 US dollars. In fact, one single dollar invested in it when it was first launched was recently worth $44,700. Now that bears repeating. One dollar transformed into $44,700 in 2013. This new currency is changing the lives of average people who are turning small sums of money into thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars. Edison's revenge on the dollar is beginning to rebalance the existing power structures, dictating who can become wealthy in America. 
It's why the U.S. Department of Justice calls it a renegade currency, why the European Central Bank fears it will negatively impact their reputation, why a senior economic advisor to President Reagan calls it a competitive threat to all currencies, and why the IRS is sounding the alarms that this may be the ultimate 21st century tax haven. Even though our federal government and our Federal Reserve are concerned about it limiting their power, 36 cities across 20 states allow you to pay for everything from water bills to parking tickets with Edison's renegade currency. 200,000 companies in the United States can currently pay their employees with it. 700,000 American businesses are turning to Edison's renegade currency, including Walmart, CVS, Lowe's, and Nike. You can use Edison's renegade currency to buy gold and silver, to buy Domino's pizza and have it delivered, to pay for lunches and dinners at over 12,000 restaurants in 45 states. In Texas, a man who recently converted 1,200 US dollars into this new money because of its rapid rise in value, he was able to turn around and pay for a Porsche with it. In New York, a luxurious condo in the exclusive Trump Soho complex was recently listed for $1.9 million, but you couldn't pay for it with dollars. You couldn't use a check, bank or wire transfer, or even a credit card. You could only use Edison's renegade currency. Right now, the whole world is embracing it. In France, you can have your salary paid in it. Belgium, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, Australia, South Africa, it's a similar story. In Finland, dentists will accept payment in Edison's renegade currency. The same for a brewery in Berlin. In Toronto, you can rent office space with it. In Argentina, you can buy a vacation home. And in New Zealand, one company will even let you pay for a private flight to outer space. Edison's renegade currency is creating a new international monetary system. Something like this has never happened before in history. It's happening right now. And what's coming may change everything. As we speak, the founders and financial backers of Google, Facebook, Skype, Yahoo, major players in natural gas and oil, as well as with AT&T and Fidelity, they're moving into Edison's renegade currency. Some eBay auctions are now being held in it. MoneyGram is using it to facilitate millions upon millions of dollars worth of financial transactions. Western Union is beginning to assess the technology necessary to harness it. And Edison's renegade currency may soon be built into every web browser and cell phone on the planet. Every email may soon have the ability to deliver it by simply clicking the send button. Now coming up in this exclusive Money Morning TV event, I'm going to be joined by an acclaimed Pulitzer Prize nominated financial journalist and former board member of a major Silicon Valley venture capital fund. He will reveal Edison's renegade currency and why some of the biggest venture capitalists are predicting that each unit of it could soon be worth $1,000, $100,000, even $1 million in the future. Michael has also risen to the top of Silicon Valley as a board member and senior advisor to a prominent venture capital fund. And now he is Monday Morning's Director of Technology and Venture Capital Investing. Michael Robinson, thank you for being here. It's great to be here, Mike. Michael, we've got a big story developing right now. It's a true threat to the Fed. In fact, every central bank's cartel-like control over the world currencies. We've never seen anything like this before. And now some of the biggest venture capitalists, folks in your circle, they are pushing millions of dollars into it. The biggest companies, they're starting to integrate it into their operations. But even more important, this new money, we've tracked down people using it to turn hundreds of dollars into thousands of dollars, into hundreds of thousands of dollars. Many are even turning it into million vision. But in 2009, we hit a point where the economic conditions were just right for a 21st century version of Edison dollars to appear. Mike, what emerged was a perfect version of Edison dollars. Backed by multiple commodities, free market driven and inflation proof, the money supply is controlled. Same amount printed on a set schedule. It cannot be manipulated, Mike, by any central banker or any government because it eliminates not only the Fed centralized power, but that of all central banks. The only way to make all of this possible was for Edison's dollars to be reborn as high tech, a digital currency, one created to act just like virtual gold, but also backed by an even more powerful commodity. And that, Mike, is energy. Every day, so much energy is allocated into maintaining this virtual currency. It could power 31,000 American homes. And its network isn't 12 decentralized warehouses across America. These modern Edison dollars 
are stored in a decentralized network of millions upon millions of computers located all over the world. In fact, if you took the top 500 supercomputers on this planet, put them all together, combine them in one giant network, this virtual currencies network would be eight times stronger than that. And the movement is spreading at light speed. We just saw a 1,500% increase, 1,500% increase, I'm telling you, in trading activity in US dollars, in euros, you name it. And that's only in three months, Mike. These modern Edison dollars have now surpassed the total value of 20 national currencies. When have you ever heard of something that big growing that fast? Mike, these are 21st century Edison dollars. I'm talking about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the realization of Thomas Edison's dream come true. Now, Michael, a lot of folks have heard of Bitcoin and it's unleashed a firestorm in the press. Now, I want to read some of these quotes for you now. Forbes, Bitcoin, the currency of a $10 trillion global market. Time Magazine, this concept is perfect money. Fox Business, Bitcoin may become the world's payment method of choice. The Washington Post quoted experts calling Bitcoin the holy grail. Astonishingly secure, anonymous, invisible to the tax man, it could soon rival the dollar. And it's not just the press supporting Bitcoin. Ron Paul said dollar alternatives like Bitcoin are fantastic. They offer freedom of choice. They're commodities that offer better value than what the Fed is printing. The VP of PayPal, Bitcoin, the perfect currency by design. Bill Gates, it's a techno tour de force. Now, this one is especially intriguing, and, and get this. The CEO of Google, Eric Schmidt, he had the secret meeting in the UK. He was there with the vice president of the Council on Foreign Relations and a former advisor to the Secretary of State. They were talking about how Bitcoin helps overcome problems people have with central banks. Bitcoin operates like gold, like gold mining, and that Bitcoin is going to be worth a lot of money. Michael, you've got the Bitcoin revolution covered from a lot of angles. Your background in venture capital, where all this money is flowing into Bitcoin, your Silicon Valley technology background, your investment background. So let's start with a very important question. How in this day and age is Bitcoin even possible? The global economy is based on hocus pocus, really on magic. The magic wand of central bankers and greedy governments. So to understand the hows and the whys of Bitcoin, you have to step back and look at all the pieces of a very big puzzle. Take our dollar. It's lost 96% of its value since 1913. The Australian dollar, it's fallen 99% over that same period. The Canadian dollar, down 95%. The British pound, off 99%. Warren Buffett recently stated the obvious about all of this. He publicly said people are right to fear paper money, that it's only going to be worth less and less over money from place to place. The cost of doing so, the overhead, as you put it, makes me think, believe it or not, of Bitcoin, because some people have said, hey, Bitcoin is the answer to those problems. Are you a believer? Well, Bitcoin is exciting because it shows how cheap it can be. Uh, Bitcoin is is better than currency in that uh, you don't have to ha be physically in the same place. And of course, for large transactions, currency can, can get pretty inconvenient. The customers we're talking about aren't trying to be anonymous. You know, they're willing to be uh, known. So it, it, the Bitcoin technology is key, and you could add to it or you could build a similar technology uh, where there's enough attribution that people feel comfortable. This has nothing to do with uh, terrorism or uh, any type What of if there's a technological advancement so powerful that it transforms the very basic pillars of our society? A technology which fundamentally influences the way that our economy, governance systems and businesses function and could change our conceptual understanding of trade, ownership and trust. This technology already exists and it's called cryptocurrency. People often think of Bitcoin as only virtual money or a transaction system. But if you look closer, you'll see that the monetary aspect is just the tip of the iceberg. That's because Bitcoin is a groundbreaking internet technology for which money is merely one of the possible applications. Money exists to facilitate trade. Through the centuries, trade has become incredibly complex. Everyone trades with everyone worldwide.
trade is recorded in bookkeeping, and this information is often isolated and closed to the public. For this reason, we use third parties and middlemen we trust to facilitate and approve our transactions. Think of governments, banks, accountants, notaries, and the paper money in your wallet. We call these trusted third parties. This brings us to the essence of Bitcoin. Bitcoin software enables a network of computers to maintain a collective bookkeeping via the internet. This bookkeeping is neither closed nor in control of one party. Rather, it is public and available in one digital ledger which is fully distributed across the network. We call this the blockchain. In the blockchain, all transactions are logged, including information on the time, date, participants and amount of every single transaction. Each node in the network owns a full copy of the blockchain. On the basis of complicated, state-of-the-art mathematical principles, the transactions are verified by the so-called Bitcoin miners, who maintain the ledger. The mathematical principles also ensure that these nodes automatically and continuously agree about the current state of the ledger and every transaction in it. If anyone attempts to corrupt a transaction, the nodes will not arrive at a consensus and hence will refuse to incorporate the transaction in the blockchain. So every transaction is public and thousands of nodes unanimously agree that a transaction has occurred on date X at time Y. It's almost like there's a notary present at every transaction. This way, everyone has access to a shared single source of truth. This is why we can always trust the blockchain. The ledger doesn't care whether a Bitcoin represents a certain amount of euros or dollars, or anything else of value, or property for that matter. Users can decide for themselves what a unit of Bitcoin represents. A Bitcoin is divisible in a hundred million units, and each unit is both individually identifiable and programmable. This means that users can assign properties to each unit. Users can program a unit to represent a euro cent, or a share in a company, a kilowatt hour of energy, or a digital certificate of ownership. Because of this, Bitcoin is much more than simply money and payments. A Bitcoin can represent many kinds of property, a thousand barrels of oil, award credits, or a vote during elections, for example. Moreover, Bitcoin allows us to make our currency smarter and to automize our cash and money flows. Imagine a healthcare allowance in dollars or euros that can only be used to pay for healthcare at certified parties. In this case, whether someone actually follows the rules is no longer verified in the bureaucratic process afterwards. You simply program these rules into the money. Ergo, compliancy up front. The unit can even be programmed in such a way that it will automatically return to the provider if the receiver doesn't use it after a certain amount of time. This way, the provider can ensure that allowances are not hoarded. A company can control its spending in the same way by programming budgets for salaries, machinery, materials, and maintenance so that the respective money is specified and cannot be spent on other things. Automizing such matters leads to a considerable decrease in bureaucracy, which saves accountants, controllers, and the organization in general an incredible amount of time. The programmable open character of Bitcoin allows us to completely rebuild and innovate our financial sector and our administrative processes, make them more efficient and transparent, and significantly decrease bureaucracy. But there's more. In an Internet of Things, our economy will be dealing with machines that actively participate in the economic traffic. In fact, they're already here. Think of a vending machine, or drones delivering packages. These machines are unfamiliar with the concept of trust, but Bitcoin is not. Because of Bitcoin, the drone can be 100% certain that it will deliver the package to the right recipient and know for sure that it's been paid for. And we can program the vending machine in such a way that it will automatically keep track of its supplies, order new supplies from the supplier, and pay for them automatically. Of course, you'll understand that this is only the beginning. Internet technology is disruptive and breaks the status quo. It opens markets and breaks the positions of middlemen all the time. Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies have caused a paradigm shift. It's time to explore this new technology constructively and critically and openly discuss potential applications.
you and I know that we're living in the greatest and most epic of all upheavals, that of the digital revolution. The digital revolution has conquered more in less time than anything or anybody in history. It's still conquering. And it's about to conquer the world of finance and currencies in a way we could not even imagine five years ago. This video is about YoCoin, a new digital currency that will be at the vanguard of the seismic shift in the financial order. And it's for real. This is hands down the best time to be in the digital currency business because this is the beginning of possibly the fastest transformation of human economics ever. New digital or cryptocurrencies are being created to compete against old style or fiat currencies that are controlled by central banks in each country or region. And we know what that means. We, meaning you and I, are not in control of our money. The banks are. But you'd better have a real cryptocurrency. What does that mean? It means a cryptocurrency that's created using accepted technological protocols or algorithms and are built on blockchain technology. A cryptocurrency that is bought and sold on exchanges because it has an intrinsic or open market value. A cryptocurrency that's been listed in the top 100 of cryptocurrencies several times in its first six months. A cryptocurrency that's going to be a top five cryptocurrency and accepted in marketplaces all over the world in less time than Bitcoin did. And a cryptocurrency that offers you a legitimate and early chance to join the epic transformation of the financial and currency worlds in a way that just might be the transformation of your world. YoCoin is that digital currency. YoCoin is that potentially monumental opportunity to be a financial architect of a new world currency and financial order. It will take understanding, focus, and effort on your part. But what doesn't that's worthwhile? Stay tuned for much more information about YoCoin and the YoCoin community that is being built at this very moment. In the meantime, we wholeheartedly invite you to click on the link below for much more information and compare YoCoin to any other digital currency or alleged digital currency. We look forward to you joining us in the YoCoin community in this most incredible quest to transform the currency and financial worlds. We appreciate your interest in YoCoin and our exciting direct sales compensation plan. We have created a simple way to earn commissions, team building bonuses, and trading rewards. You do that by assisting us in sharing the YoCoin learning, earning, and YoCoin collecting platform. This plan is built to reward those that choose to refer at least two preferred customers who make a YoCoin product purchase. The first step in becoming a successful YoCoin community affiliate is to purchase a preferred customer YoCoin product package. The second step is to enroll two preferred customers that purchase a YoCoin product package. YoCoin community affiliates that build teams of other affiliates who generate YoCoin product package sales will earn commissions and bonuses. There are several rewards that are given to successful YoCoin community affiliates. The first of those rewards is the two-team commission. As you refer other affiliates and preferred customers to the YoCoin community, you will place them below you in one of two teams. These are often referred to as legs in a binary organization. Each of your teams will generate sales volume from the YoCoin product package sales as they refer other affiliates and preferred customers. You may also generate sales volume from the YoCoin product package sales of the people above you. This is called spillover sales volume. As the two teams begin to grow, your binary income will grow based on the total sales generated by your left and right teams, including spillover from your upline team. The advantage of the two-team binary structure is its unlimited depth sales credit tracking. The two-team structure creates excitement and leverage by helping multiple team members benefit from each YoCoin product package sale. You can track your binary sales daily through your online YoCoin Community Affiliate Office. The binary structure will pay a weekly two-team commission of 10% of YoCoin product package sales volume from the team that has the lesser sales volume amount. Let's look at this example of the two-team commission. If your right team generates $5,000 in sales volume and your left team generates $8,000 in sales volume, you would be paid 10% of the right team sales volume or $500. The YoCoin product package sales volume not generating a commission, that's from the left side, is banked and stored for future binary commissions. 
please note that 70% of commissions and bonuses are deposited into the Yocoin Community Affiliates virtual wallet and 30% is deposited into the affiliate's Yocoin trading account. There is a weekly cap on the amount that can be earned from the binary commission. It's determined by the affiliate's accumulated sales volume. That volume comes from your personal product purchase and the purchases of your personally referred preferred customers. When your accumulated sales volume reaches $50, you have a $500 weekly cap. At $100, it's a $1,000 cap. At $500, it's a $5,000 cap. At $1,000, it's an $8,000 cap. And when your accumulated sales volume reaches $2,000, there is a $12,000 weekly cap. Because the maximum amount any affiliate may purchase is $2,000, to qualify for the final two weekly binary income caps, the amount needed above $2,000 must be generated from your preferred customers. So at $5,000 group product sales volume, you have a $20,000 weekly binary income cap. And finally, at $10,000 group product sales volume, you have a $35,000 weekly binary income cap. Now please note that a Yocoin community affiliate who elects to purchase a product package of $500 or more must agree to a product purchase statement of understanding that includes an affordability and income disclosure acknowledgement. This statement applies in the U.S., Canada, and many parts of Europe. Also, all commission and bonus rank requirements are listed in U.S. dollars. Next we have the match pay bonus. Match pay bonuses are often the largest portion of a sales team builder's commissions. To understand this bonus, you place all of your personally referred affiliates on your front line. This is your first level. As a qualified Yocoin Community Affiliate, you will be rewarded with a 10% binary compensation match pay on all binary income paid to any and all of the affiliates on your first level. There's no limit to the number of preferred customers you may refer, so there are no limits to the number of Yocoin Community Affiliates that you can earn a first level 10% match pay bonus on. And as if that weren't enough, there is no income cap on this bonus. Next we have the Yo Club Team Building Rewards and Match Pay Bonuses. In order to qualify as a Yo Club member in any given month, you must meet two requirements. First, you must generate $10,000 in personal group monthly sales volume in each of your legs or teams. And second, you have to have enrolled during that month two new preferred customers with $1,000 or more in sales volume. And why would you want to be a Yo Club member? Because 1% of the Yocoin network sales during 2016 and the first quarter of 2017 will be placed in a pool and divided each month by the qualified and active Yo Club members. That means for each month that you qualify, you will earn one share in that pool. A Yo Club member will also receive an additional match bonus of 10% on all of the binary commissions in their entire personal group. That means you'll be paid this additional 10% match bonus on all the people in your entire sponsorship tree as far down as it will go until you run into or meet another qualified Yo Club member. Now this 10% match bonus is paid exclusively in Yo Coins, and it could be multiple team members in depth. And last but not least, in fact this is the biggest bonus of them all, is any affiliate that qualifies as a Yo Club member for three consecutive months qualifies for a permanent match pay bonus of 10% on the second level and 15% on the third level for the binary match pay bonuses of all of the affiliates in their personal group. That's the entire sponsorship tree. This bonus could be earned on hundreds of affiliates with no caps. And get this, once this bonus is earned, it can never be taken away. As you can see, we have a simple but very lucrative compensation plan. We look forward to having you join us in the Yocoin community. here aka Dr. Bitcoin and I've been asked to do a quick tutorial to how to set up the Ethereum Mist wallet. Uh, there's been a bunch of interesting news this week with Ethereum. Coinbase and GDAX just added Ethereum to uh, the types of currency that you can uh, have in your, in your Coinbase account. So uh, if you want the easy way to manage Ethereum that's one way to do it or you can install the developer created Ethereum wallet on your PC and be able to access uh, new Ethereum currencies like the DAO and uh, as of today, Yocoin. 
local Dallas based cryptocurrency that is shifting over to the Ethereum blockchain. Thank <laughs> you.